is going on guys? Today we are in the 180SX. We are driving this thing to the car wash. Now, step one of this car, I want to make this thing nicer. It's really gross. There's pine needles everywhere. There's now road salt because it was on my trailer for four hours on the way home. And I feel like this interior hasn't been cleaned in months. So we're going to go through the entire car today, clean it. I was looking around the car and it has rivets. I would love to actually put rivets nuts on this car and actually make it a lot better a lot of them missing there's a lot of different hardware throughout this whole car so today's video I want to clean it up I want to go through the whole thing I want to start to make a little bit of a parts list nothing too crazy because we always jump the gun and th take things apart and then things take too long like I want to enjoy this car like I am really excited about this thing and I don't want to just strip the whole thing out like today so we're really gonna take our time with this thing and have some fun with it like there's a little things that I can do to make this car a lot more enjoyable for me so with that being said let's get to the car wash and drive this thing looks like you're gonna have to do the honors today yeah, the car wash on you <laughs> if you need to I can spawn nah, nah, I'm kidding. dude so I think this diff is like really good it's got like like a two-way or something because like it sometimes feels like a welded diff but it has that like LSD feel that you know it's like a good one yeah so I'm excited to like get this thing on the lift and like actually properly look at it because the shops just filled it's kind of hard to move a bunch of things with ice yeah Ooh. there's like four inches of ice in front of our oh shop oh my god it's crazy because all the water just runs down the hill and then touches the ice and freezes yeah, it's, and it's bad dude you can even walk on it yeah but this gets out yeah. this is one of the like one of the few cars that can actually move around the ice because of that lsd dip not welded lsd yeah. dude you're sitting in a thousand dollar seat right I now know. The 15 seat blue. not ripped nothing i'm gonna take that thing out and put it in a bag that thing stonks right there that's a thousand dollars off the car we gotta get rid of this this is terrible yeah. I don't hate the Crown Royal bag. I, I like that it's black. If it was, if it was the purple, with the purple or the green, out, but I'll, I'll deal with the black. That's fine. I kind of want to take the cage out too. Like I just want this thing like a nice like street car. You know, like I don't care for the cage at all. You can see the car came out pretty good. We're at Carl's right now. We're gonna get some paint, some Scotch Bright. Hopefully they have some rib nuts and things like that because it would be nice if I didn't have to order those off the internet. But I want metric. I won't settle for American. Let's go. Get two of these. We're not going crazy today. Grab our uh, color of choice for the interior bits. What do you think? Fire. Do you like that? Stun. Oh, yeah. Stun of Just some satin black. We're good. All right, boys, so here we are in the shop. First things first, I really want to clean this thing up. As you guys just saw, we brought it to the car wash and everything. Now it's time to actually vacuum out the car. We haven't actually properly even went through the car and determined what is even in it. I can see there's some wheels and stuff. We did open the hatch and stuff, but after we vacuum, we're actually gonna deep clean this thing and paint up some stuff and just start to make the inside nice and then we can start working on the outside. We went to Carl's, we looked for rev nuts and stuff and sadly, they didn't sell what we were looking for, which is weird. I figured you can get rev nuts anywhere, but nonetheless, we'll order some online and uh, let's get cleaning. $1,000 option B seats. Yeah, so I'm thinking to sell this thing because like it's really good condition. If I can get about a thousand bucks for it, I mean, that's a thousand dollars we can put into the car. Yeah. You know, and at the end of the day, it's a passenger seat. I mean, I would love to have two real brids in there. That one needs to be refinished. I need to kind of look into that because if, if it's a real genuine seat, we might as well clean it up and use it. I'm on the fence about this cage though. Yeah. I want this car like clean and nice and it's a nightmare getting in and out of this car which makes it less like oh. over time will make it less enjoyable to drive because it's a pain to get in and really I mean 
if you want to get serious, no one really allows bolt-in cages. Like if you're going to do a competition, not saying I want to do any of that. But if I don't want to do any of that, what's the point of the cage? Yeah. You know? And I think I can trade up on this thing. So I can trade this cage. I'm talking to this dude in South Carolina. He's got an S15 turbo. He's got a intake manifold so we can get rid of those gr that gross plenum. Um, he's got a few things that he said he would trade for the cage. So you can get a new turbo for that. We can get an intake manifold, get that powder coated, um, start to get a different fuel reel setup because I don't like the fuel reel setup on stock SRs either. And slowly start collecting all of the pieces we need and really not having to spend too much money because we're just taking things out and reinvesting it back into the car. I'm stoked about jack stands. Matt and I talked about wanting small jack stands the other day and we got them. I think we have brand new tires too, which is... Kind of nice. Uh, Not new, but definitely a good burner. I mean, I'll take it. Cool, we got two tires, and then we have two, it looks to be XXRs, which mm -hmm. have decent tires too. And we'll take them with. These are great burners. Ugh. This is actually kind of nice to keep around, just in case the other one blows out or anything. This is actually sick to have. Yeah, let's see. Unless it's a little broken right there. Oh, it is cracked, you can see. Oh, boy, yeah. The only damage I found in the car is actually over here, if you look, Matt. It looks like someone um, wanted to be a drift boy in their life, and they ended up hitting a wall. They did fix it. I don't know if that's... I'm not a body guy, so I don't know how correct that actually is. But, I mean, it looks straight. It's got the overfenders and stuff. So, at the end of the day, it's not the end of the world. Like, we got this car really cheap. But you can see the car, it's pretty much gutted. I don't like that. Like, I want a 180 that, like, is fully together. As you guys know, we have that car over there, the rust bucket. That has a full interior. The only downside is it is blue. My S13 in Long Island, I don't know what kind of interior that has. I don't re remember the shape of that car. I mean, it's been almost a year at this point since I've seen it, so I don't really remember too much about the car. But regardless, I think I want to take the cage out and get a full interior for this car. I think it deserves it, and I don't really want to drift it, so we'll see. Look at all these masks. They're frozen. God damn it. Proves how cold it is in the shop. There's a bottle of something jammed up in that corner. How long do you think that's been there? On top of Read bit. the date. The dust by date. Dude, July 12th, 2021. Dang. I mean, how long do you think these last? At least a year. Yeah. You know, so this is from 2020 that's three years old it's just been sitting back here i am a little concerned about this i did see this the other day I, i'm hoping it has the cap i'm assuming it doesn't it... what the hell maybe they just wanted to protect it maybe that's a shipping thing that's kind of interesting huh yeah maybe it is a shipping thing I, no because i've had cars from japan i've never gotten this yeah you know maybe it leaks a little Oh, there's a dead spider right there. Where? Right uh, here? Yeah. <gasps> Come on, Did dude. Did you actually throw it at me? It's dead. I don't give a fuck if it's dead. It's gross. Dude, it's so cold. It's so hard. <laughs> That's some good tape, dude. I can't get that off. <laughs> Come on. Dude, try it. Go ahead. Oh, I'm good. Bro, try I, it. I busted my arm. Come on, try it. I busted my arm. Okay. It's the tape challenge. Oh, it's just ripping. <laughs> Is it ripping? Yeah. yeah oh, oh, no! Get the heat gun out. That's just fucking stretching and ripping. Oh, great. This is fun. Oh, I, I win that challenge. Sure. But, yeah, no, I mean, I'm not a fan of gutted cars. I haven't been a fan of gutted cars, really, ever since the ricer. Because even that, I put a full interior in that thing. You know, has ups and downs. But, oh, um, yeah, all right. Let's, uh... Fuck it, we're just gonna take the cage out. I don't want the cage, and I'm making that decision now. This is what we yo, 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 you're stepping on that. Oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, so, just got both the seats out. I'm gonna start taking the cage out. I'm gonna take off the door bars and all the accessories first, and then I'll actually get it up on the lift so I can get these ones down here. Um, we're definitely gonna have to weld all the holes shut. I don't plan on ever caging this car. There's just no point for me, personally. But uh, yeah, we'll weld up the hole so that doesn't leak or anything. It's gonna be some work, but we'll get some steel it spray paint. 
we'll spray paint the rust or we'll spray paint the new holes and she should be good so let's get it oh matt's chopping away that fire's not doing anything bro oh, no <laughs> it's all freezing in here dude i know all this shit is fucking full of ice oh thank god that fits that was the smallest one i had for that oh it's all, no, it was oh, just spinning. I never knew why people use like Allen bolts for this because it's just dangerous, I feel like. It's so easy to strip. Yeah. You know? It looked good. Yeah. Oh, it's scary, dude. I like Torx better than Allen. Huh? I like Torx better yeah, than Yeah, at least Alan. you have like a better grip. But the problem with Torx is like people always will use the wrong stuff and they're always just stripped. Or you snap the Torx. Yep. Yeah, they're always weak. Yeah. That actually went out a lot smoother than I was anticipating right there. Oh my, hey, how's it going? <laughs> Woo! Yeah, that hurt a little bit, but I'm fine. You know what the Rudnickism says, no pain, no game. I thought that was a normal saying. No pain, no gain. Yeah. I said game. I said no game, no pain. Why not? <laughs> no, I said no, <laughs> no pain, no game. Oh, game. Instead of gain? Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. I was confused. I was like... Unless I... I don't know. I don't even know what I said. Just... No, it's no pain, no gain, but... We'll just go with it. I thought that's what you said. That's what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> I'll usually get it, like, right enough so people know what I mean. Yeah. You know? That's what matters. Well, like Regardless, if I wanted to keep this cage anyways, it would have to come out because you can see... It's like pretty scuffed up, pretty rusty, and like for the car that I'm going for, we would have to paint this thing anyway. So this is this was the first step regardless. So let's keep uh, going. Look at this back one now. I like that Will's favorite tool. Nice. Love to see it. Nice. The nut's not even moving. Now it is. Ha ha! Thank you. All right, both door bars. Now we can start working on this. Start working on that. And before we know it, this whole thing will be out. All right, so the door bars are taken out. This top hoop is taken out. The hoop over here is taken out as well. So now we gotta get the car on the lift because a lot of it's underneath. And to be honest, I wanna check out the diff. I wanna check out the underneath of this car because I did look under it, just like kind of shoving my head down there, but I would like to get it on the lift and actually inspect it. Um, here's all of the pieces, but maybe we'll list this up on my website. I mean, if anyone has an S13 that wants a bolt-in cage, we'll see. I gotta look up the brand and figure out what it is. I'll probably not be able to tell the brand. I can see some Japanese writing on that, so we'll see. I don't know. Believe it or not, putting this thing on the lift was quite the task between having, what, three inches of ice out there? Dude, I think there's six. And it's <laughs> three inches of ice, Matt fell on his face. Yeah, dude, I fell on it, like, cut my arm. Why? Cut like, your arm? Yeah, there was, like, a raised bit where someone stepped before. God, but we even had to take the side skirts off because we don't have enough of these extensions right here to actually extend the arm up. So we took those off, which it got a little weird. If you look over here, someone from Japan glued it. But honestly, it went a lot smoother than I anticipated. We just heated it up for a couple minutes and then it melted, came right off. So skirts came off in one piece, which stoked about now is what I've personally been waiting for. I want to see what this thing looks like underneath. Well, judging by the rockers, it's looking pretty good. I was pretty nervous that it was gonna be like pretty messed up because like usually when a car has side skirts, like five out of 10 times, it's destroyed. Yeah. This doesn't seem to be that. Good. Got a little bit over there, that kind of sucks, but. What do we got? So this is, I found this really weird. So if you look at this side, it's got a complete frame rail, but this is the driver's side of this car. Yeah. What were you saying? Like, <laughs> I think they move it to based on where it is because, or maybe the 240s get both of them because like Americans are heavier. Yeah, like <laughs> apparently this comes like this stock. Yeah. I, I don't know the, the real answer to that. That was what Matt was telling me. But in America, we have frame rails that go all the way back. Yeah. I looked under here, I'm like, dude, I'm missing half my frame rail. Like, what the hell is going on? 
Yeah. But, but maybe, I mean, throw it down in the comments if you know, like, do 180SX is missing half a frame rail? Yeah, I the mean, bad thing makes sense. Yeah, I mean, our boys at uh, GK Tech, they make that, though. Oh, they make it? Yeah, you can oh. get, you either Funny. weld it in or screw it in or whatever. Well, I'm hitting up GK Tech for that, because I don't know, man, that just seems, and I feel like, You'd get a little more sturdiness out of the chassis. If yeah, that was just there, you like know. That. Like, why <laughs> is this really cost effective to take that apart? Nissan, dude, every bolt. It's clean. Under yeah, no, here. this car is great. Like, holy crap! For the frame rails that are there, dude, they're nice, dude. Everything. Yeah, just the worst part was back there because someone seemed to crash. Let me get a light. Yeah, but dude, even the tank is like nice. Yeah, no, this was a score for sure. Like, dude, there's no rust on the <laughs> tank at all. Yeah. Hey, okay. I'm just curious on the coilover setup in this. Oh, they actually are a Yashio factory. I didn't know Yashio actually made coilovers. I haven't really messed with the dampening too much on these. I'm going to try to soften it up a bit. I think I was more worried about the front because I think the front is actually the one slamming down. But you can see that you can um, adjust your dampening from the bottom. I didn't even know these were adjustable due to looking at the top of it, but it seems that the bottom. Which kind of makes go. sense when you're setting up your alignment on like. Yeah, no, for sure. It's rag. just right there. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's not bad. So we're going to play around with that. Um, hopefully that kind of loosens it up a little bit because like it's probably perfect for a drift car But yeah. as a street car, I want more of like a little soft cushion, you know, like not a Cadillac But in the middle of a Honda Civic and a Cadillac. What else we got it's a nice here? Street car the blue radiator. What a weird move. Yeah, it's full blue. You can see that nice yeah. oil pan. Is, is this actually the Gretti one? I don't know if I make fake ones of these. It doesn't matter. It extends the pan. I'm sure there's baffling in it. All good. This is solid mount. I yeah. wish that was poly, but that's okay. We actually have one right here. We literally have one of those right here from Drift HQ. But yeah, no, I mean, the chassis is clean. This was a huge success. Yeah, I expected a hole somewhere. Oh, yeah. we're missing a bolt in the diff. Yeah. What diff is this? So well, it seems to be the stock at... casing, but it, there's, something's got to be up on the inside. Yeah, it's Something nice and... has to be. Cause dude, it makes all of the right noises. Yeah, yeah nice. Here, try to stop that. Why spin? Ready? Yeah. No, dude, like this thing is fucking mint. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> like, there's something in there, something special. Yeah. I don't think that's stock. It definitely doesn't feel stock. But no, I mean, it's got adjustable arms. It's got the Yashio coilovers. Like, someone cared about this car for sure. It's got the solid mount trans mount. It's got the extended oil. It's got a bigger radiator, even though it's blue. It's got the front mount Gretti, intercooler. This was a sick purchase. Yeah, there's good parts. And if we open up that valve cover and see some Tom McCain. I know, we should open up the valve cover because I, I want to get new spark plugs and stuff anyway, so I'm not going to be driving this for a little bit. And honestly, I felt pretty guilty. we got to clean this thing because even though we brought, brought it to the car wash, just driving home, you can see just the salt that has built up. So we definitely want to clean that because this gets rusty, I'm gonna be upset. Oh, what's the exhaust? I mean, it's probably some HKS or Gretti, something like that. Oh, dude, it's even got a little turbo outlet too. Get a better look at the turbo, that's not stock. Yeah. You can see it's a little sludgy, but that's all right. Dang, stock engine mounts, all of this. We got stock engine mounts, unbelievable. <laughs> oh, what do you know though? A blue return line. <laughs> yeah, I got it. That's I get the blue oil return. It was blue at one blue point. Blue springs. What is up with you Japanese guys, man? And then a red coupler. And I yeah. see blue up here. It's blue and pink. You got a gold extender. Why do we need the extension there? The little glue. Oh, is that just a rubber? Oh, that's rubber? a solid mount. Yeah, yeah that's pretty cool. Steering. Dude, they even do. these are upgraded. The rack bushings? Yeah. I, I don't know if that are rack bushings, but yeah. I, I, yeah. Ooh, yeah, you can see they're oh, Yeah, they're crusty, poly. They're nice red poly. Yeah, not bad. Honestly, dude, this car's fucking sick. Yeah. All right, well, enough of the undercarriage. Now what we gotta do is we gotta get all of these bolts out here. All of these, there's some, where are they? Mm. Oh, there's some all the way up in the wheel well. I do wanna take a look at how they cut the arches on the quarter panel as well. Yeah. I'm curious about that, dude. The, the salt's making off? me sick. Yeah, maybe we take the whole kit off, wash the whole thing. Yeah, I don't want to take the kit off until I have the rib nuts, because I, I love to go gung-ho, you yeah. know, and now we have parts scattered across the shop. Like, it's not like they're hard to see. They're red. There's a mouse right there. 
Oh, Chuck just tried to kill a mouse on camera. You missed. <laughs> you missed. I'm pretty sure I hit him. No, nah, you missed. It hit the box. All right, well, let's um get that cage out for good. Oh, are these Advans? Are they real? Look. Dude. Money. I was just about to say, you want to see something cool? Wait for this. This is what oh, every Jif yeah. This is This is RK Tunes right here. <laughs> you ready for this? Shout out to my boy Jordan for building a 180 SX with a wide body and the wrong wheels. <laughs> always the wrong wheels. Baby. He's always running the wrong wheels and then somebody says. <laughs> One and a half inch spacer. I think that's a tour. I'll measure, let's measure. Let's do it. That might be a tour right there. Guys, get the right off. That's oh, a tour. That's a tour. Dang, dude. Dang, you, Jordan. You must really know what two inches looks like, huh? That's fine. I get enough girls. <laughs> <laughs> Probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> I'm putting it in. <laughs> Wrong choice of words on that one. Yeah. Jordan, let me know if you need any more space just for your drip car. I got you. Oh, they're four log. Yeah, four these log. are junk. No one cares about these. I want. So I have a five log swap somewhere. But if you can see all those bins over there, uh, I don't know. Yo, did you find a five load swap? A bunch of hubs when you were cleaning up? Brand new hubs. Brand new? I don't think so. We got them somewhere and we will find them because then we can do that, which will be sick. If we can find that, I'll get some Z32 shit and then we can five lug swap this. That means we can put the Rays on, we can put the VSKFs on. We're just gonna, the VSKFs are just whores. Dude, the VSKFs would look so good on this. I know. I, we're like, it looked good on the JZX, and then we put mm -hmm. them on 350Z, and they're like, wow, it looks really good on 350Z, but this, this might top it off. 180, red 180 with fucking triple chrome. It's only right, right? It's only right. If not, I'm gonna have to sell some things and just buy another set i love the vskfs yeah, or a set of work meisters because i'm a butthurt for mice i was gonna say if you have the five look swap i got two vskfs here no nah, i don't want those thanks no, though, no, no, no. Thanks, we, can fit, we can fit them on i'll take them for free no we'll fit them on i'll take them for free test fit them see if you like Dude, you paid way too much for those no i know <laughs> i know <laughs> they're the worst Gosh, offset in the world yeah, they're not that bad they're fucking 18 they're <laughs> they're like this big <laughs> dude no they're, <laughs> they're, they're, they're the size of you <laughs> they're nine <laughs> They're nine inch wide, so they just have really positive offset. Yeah, they're just really terrible. <laughs> you're, you're terrible. Uh, see anything wrong with that lug nut, sir? I do. That's... What the hell am I gonna do about that? Bro, oh. <laughs> what the hell? Uh -huh. How did someone get that in? Well, I think if you- are gonna have to get a wrench. Bro, they like fucked up. Ooh. I know, it's, dude, whoever sent that in is a savage. No way. Oh, it's your door. <laughs> well, they couldn't tighten it. Yeah, that was that was definitely the weirdest move I've ever seen. Are these real Advans? Do Advans use C-clips to hold the... I don't think anyone would go through the trouble of C-clipping that if they were fake. Yeah. Right? I mean... We can I check the actual there's, wheel, like, behind the face, maybe? There's some dudes. Yeah, if there's some mats. There's some dudes that would put a fake cap on a fake wheel. A real cap on a, a fake, fake real cap. Well, yeah, see, here? Here's my Phenomenal. thing. If I have real KFs on the front, are my fake O5s more credit in the rear? No, it just means you have fake wheels in the front. <laughs> real wheels in the front and fake in the back. But if I put V's center or quip fucking center caps in the real rear. Oh, I don't care. You yeah, think you, you do what you want. You think it would fool some people? Yo, you know what I just bought? For you gotta go to a stance with the ricer? Finally, dude. I think they're fake caps, but it's fine. Look at these. Mice, those are so fake. <laughs> <laughs> First off, there's two pieces. Dude. That's like cheap plastic. So I have so I'm the opposite. I'm real wheels, fake caps. Yeah. <laughs> I'll I'm pull the, the exact 50. opposite. No, you gotta pull the 50 bucks on each cap. Yeah, no, I think it was like 200 for the set, and then I saw <laughs> these were 30 bucks. I'm like, oh, yeah. easy. That's what I'm <laughs> saying, bro. Real real fucking caps are. Yeah, but they're real wheels. So no one's looking at the caps. They're gonna be like, yo, those are some fucking mice well, wheels. Yeah, and then they look at your dumb little caps and they're like, no, oh, these are fake. Fake. When we put them on, we'll up. reference this clip, and you're gonna be like, wow, those weren't dumb. This dude stickered up his fake fucking ESRs. Uh, I'm not even hating on ESRs, I got ESRs. And they look like 05s, and they will trick people. Which one again? The one alone? The lonely boy? Lonely stoner freezes mine at night. Got it. It's a good song. 
Number one, here you go. Careful. Pull the lock on that side, Chuck. Hold on. Oh, okay. I thought you said, I thought you said Wagwan. <laughs> what? Wagwan. 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 No, wagwan. it's like, what going on? Wagwan. Wagwan. Whatever. It's not going to be fun welding all these holes. All 20 of them. You got that? Dang, no cage. No good. We're officially cageless. We're gonna clean up. We're gonna get all these bolts out of here, vacuum a little bit, and we're gonna get ready to weld these holes because uh, I don't like them. Because yeah, Rudnick is now being raised cage free. You cage free, him. I'm find cage him. free, baby. Find him in your super they let me out of the cage. <laughs> Watch out. They let me out the, the cell. <laughs> That's an Akon song, right? I don't know, I think so. I'm sure everyone has said that. I'm locked up. Alright, so we got the car vacuumed to about 90%. I mean, I can definitely spend a lot more time on the carpet, but we still have to weld those holes, so I want to just grind them down just a little bit with like a wire wheel, just so I have a better contact, and then we're just going to seal up all of those holes. And I think I have steel, I have gray, but I'd rather get black, so I'm just going to order that off Amazon, and that will be good. But um, project for tonight is definitely to get all of those holes welded so the car is sealed. I guess I'm going to have to go on Yahoo Auction and get a new carpet. I hate that that's cut. Yeah. Because it needs to be right-hand drive. That makes everything a little more difficult, trying to source things. Yeah. But, um... I mean, it's ready for interior. I just got to figure out how I'm going to get it because I really don't want to do the blue. Maybe I can um, sweet talk my buddy Mark. Mark, yeah. And to give me his black interior in there somehow, some way, because that would be sick. If I can just get this whole thing interior, because it's just like kind of ratty, you know? Yeah, I'm just seeing all the metal and crap. Yeah, I just want it to be a complete car. It just makes it feel nicer and i like that so all right let's get the welder out and start welding all right you can see i grinded everything down we unhooked the battery we are ready to weld we got a good ground so i don't know if this is a good spot matt wants to go get some food let's see all right those three holes are patched i'm gonna go ahead and get a flap disc just Bring them down smooth. I mean, it's not the end of the world because all of this is going to be covered, but just a peace of mind. I want to just do it flat so I can, if I can see any pinholes. Last thing I want to do is a little pinhole. This is right above the wheel well. Wheels are spinning, water. I mean, sooner or later that will rust. This is a lot of work patching these holes. Um, I figured out the machine pretty good. I kept burning, so I turned it down a little bit, but now we're A OK. -okay. Uh, you know, grinder makes you a welder, so that's good. That's probably a rudnickism. All right, ready, Matt? All right, guys, so we've been welding for like the past three hours. I didn't think it'd take that long, but it was quite time consuming. I still have to grind it down a bit. It's not the prettiest thing at all. I grinded this one a little. We had a couple pinholes, so I had to redo it a couple times, but um, we got that. And then over here, we got these three. These are just not grinded, but um, we made sure we were shining the light on both sides and there's no pinholes whatsoever. The only one that I missed was this one, because you can see I can't weld it from the bottom. I'm gonna have to actually get it from the top. It's two pieces of metal. Yeah, so, I mean, I probably could have welded these two shut, but it's just, it's ghetto, so I'd rather not do that. So we gotta do that one. This one, it was a little too big <laughs> to patch up, so tomorrow I'll cut like a piece of thin metal, just a little circle to try to fit it in there, and then weld around that, and then that will be good. And we got the ones, oh, we got these. Where are they? Where are we? Oh. We got that one, this one, and that one. This one won't weld, so I gotta figure out what the hell I'm gonna do with that. I'll probably end up just like maybe drilling it straight out and then getting one of those rubber grommets because this isn't really part of the frame. It's like a little circle patch and you can't, there's nowhere to ground it to anywhere. I tried multiple areas and we just couldn't get it. And so, yeah, we'll probably do a grommet on that one. And it's good to have at least one or two holes with a grommet in case for whatever reason your car floods out, you can drain it out. I mean, that's worst case scenario. Yeah, we're... we're like, if that happens, I'm just gonna 
cry. Yeah. But um, I don't know. I think that's pretty good progress. Mark did say I can take his black interior, Dang. so kindly thank you, Mark. We'll be um, swapping all of that stuff into this thing, but obviously we need to make sure that all of those holes are filled before and we do that. Painted. And painted, yeah. Oh no shit, way. I gotta get some steel it. But I wanna use black. Short or some. I know, but then we gotta Bezos. wait. That's like the hardest thing about YouTubing, is like if you want to do something in a certain color, you wanna do something a certain way, then it's like four days away, and then you're like, oh, you crap. You steal it at like Lowe's? I don't think so. We can check. Yeah, we can check on the internet. Yeah. But either way, we'll catch up with you guys in the morning. It is like 11 o'clock and it's probably 10 degrees in here. Yeah, fire went out a while ago. Yeah, and I, just, I don't like leaving the fire on when I know I'm gonna leave soon. So I kinda- Suffer for the last two hours. Yeah, let it die out. But we're just gonna choke it. It'll be all good. We'll get all this wood out of here because I don't like that. I don't like anything near this thing at all. Hmm. Alright guys, so I think that just about wraps up this video. As we can, as you can see, we're in quite a predicament. Chuck over here, he got in a little trouble with the law. What happened, Chuck? Uh, I got a ticket for loud <laughs> exhaust. <Yeah. laughs> he got a ticket for loud exhaust, so he's here um, welding up a new exhaust and stuff. But in order to get to this car, we need to move that and that. So Chuck's gonna work on the exhaust. I ordered everything that we actually need to finish this. We ordered the steel it. We actually ordered the rib nuts and the washers and the bolts as well because I wanna redo the whole body kit. I don't like just normal rivets and half of them aren't even doing anything. Half of them are rusty or whatever and they're just, it's not clean and a lot of things are just kind of like screwed in and I'd rather have like a nice nut cert that you can easily take it off. It looks good and all of that. We got a bunch of different colors like black, red, silver. I don't really like any of them. Like I don't really know what the washer color should be. Black. That's what I'm thinking. Cause black I, or silver. I got black, silver, and then if I hated both of them I tried to get red to match the car, but we'll see. We're just gonna play around with all of those different ones. Realistically, we can't do anything until that steel it comes because I wanna put a new interior in this, but until we get that paint, we can't do anything. And I checked Lowe's, checked Home Depot online. Nowhere has it but Chef Bezos. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed the video on the 180SX and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.